So hey guys, I'm sitting here with the uh, director and the cast and, and producers of uh, Three Days in August. No How are you guys producer. doing? No producer. I'm okay. technically a producer. Okay. Though, yeah, so. that works. Aren't you guys all producers as well? Barely. Yeah, I, I have to read the contract. That. I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. Why don't you guys start by pretend like I've never seen the film in your own words? Tell me what it's about. Well, they've well, never, seen never seen the film. Then I won't be the only one. No pretending. I'm not actually sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ask the question. That's all right. Share me in your own words what the film's about. It's about 90 minutes, 94 minutes. Yeah, uh, that's about what it is. But I'm changing. Thank you, Brent. Oh, oh my God. So uh, it's it's it's, 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 it's a comedy. Start again. That sucked. <laughs> it's a musical. It's, it's a musical. It's song, a like God's musical. Spell. Cult musical. Uh, Three Days in August is a, is a story that's inspired by some true events of a, a Texas um, a painter uh, who is adopted and has always had this dream to paint a family portrait, um, not just her birth family, but her adoptive family as well. Um, so she rents uh, a ranch in Texas, and unbeknownst to either of the families, invites them all out for a weekend. Let's just say the families don't exactly get along. So <laughs> Texas heat, booze, and other things sort of all conspired. Kind of um, Virginia Woolfie. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I love Mike Nichols. I just, I, we saw Mike Nichols' film last night. Anyways, that's what Three Days in August is about. I would have said either, not either. Either, you would have? No, either or, I, neither I, nor? I would, have said either. I would have said I just wished he had directed it. I know, right. It's great. <laughs> that didn't suck. Awesome. Okay. So, so you talk about being in Texas. I understand that the, it was shot in Texas. Talk a little bit about shooting in Texas, problems, good things about it. Problems? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we, we won't ask Mariette that question. No, um, so, no I, I live in Texas now. I'm a transplant from Canada, so I, I wanted to sort of sleep in my own bed and, and try to do more, more independent film here. We shot Occupy Texas here last year, so um, for my directorial debut, I thought it would be fa fabulous to sleep in my own bed, although I didn't really get to sleep in my own bed because we slept out in Mineral Wells, but uh, Texas Otherwise is... Otherwise known fondly as, as miserable, miserable Wells. Uh, uh -oh. We love Mineral Wells. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely cut that part out, all right? So, um, they knew yeah. I said that. I know. I said I know. it everywhere I went. I know. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Still Texas rude. is definitely a character in, in this. The ranch is definitely a character, and so... I don't think we could have doubled uh, Vancouver for, for Texas, let's put it that way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I bet you guys got some good stuff around here. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. The crew, bless you. Bless you. The crew was, was amazing. We used almost entirely local crew, um, tons of great local talent. And, they were uh, drunk the whole time. Mostly drunk. <laughs> and then, of course, we brought in some, some veterans as well. But, but so didn't speak. you get free okay. beer or something? And that's what well, yeah, Four at. Corners Brewery. This is what I love about shooting in Texas, Four Corners Breweries, which is you know, a local brewery, and instead of putting Budweiser in the film, I'm like, hey, guys, we'll put your beer in the film. So now I get to drink beer for free the rest of my life. That's it's awesome. Great. Mm -hmm. That's great. You can't be better than that, right? No, it's true. <laughs> so clearly you have <laughs> Occupy Texas. You have another film in the festival. Talk about what it's like to, to be accepted into DIFF, you know, what it's like being here, your experience so far. You bought your way in, didn't you? We're not, cut. We'll go again. <laughs> uh, ask the question again. <laughs> You fucked your way. I know, Jen. <laughs> I thought we said <laughs> You're the one that said no more fucks. I know, I know. Jen. I know. She breaks the rules I all the time. What the hell, Jerry? You help me out here. Uh. <laughs> uh, well, Diff has been a partner Excuse for. Excuse me. Yes. Where is Jerry? He's right there. Where? What? You can't see him. You can't. Honey, he's got sweat all over him. Oh, my Could God. You just come in and do it. Just do a little uh. job. No, not you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, Diff, I've always been a big fan of Diff. I had a film here a few years ago called Decoding Annie Parker, which is a great experience. And you know, it's my hometown um, you know, festival now. So Occupy was a great experience on Friday night. And, and so you know, being here to, to world premiere the film, we shot it here. It was important to do it in our own backyard. Yeah, that's great. That's wonderful. Talk about uh, what you want the audiences to take from it, what you hope people see in the movie, et cetera. Well, it's really, uh, you know, obviously the, the, the themes of adoption and abandonment and, and sort of trying to find your place in the world are, are important to the film, but ultimately it's, I mean, everyone has family politics. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's really about navigating family, and, and, uh, and I think it'll be interesting to see what audiences do take away from it. Yeah. I, I think that the fact, that something that drew me to it was that it wasn't about uh, an adoptee and her struggles and her family's struggles with that. I have two adopted children, so it's something that's really close to my heart. And like, that's something that any family that's adopted, you know, worries about how their child is going to feel about them or how the biological parents, where they fit in and how it all works together. And in this particular situation, having some people that may not get along come together for this mutual cause and it kind of blow up 
was really interesting for me to be yeah. involved in. And Molly plays the uh, the adopted child, if you will, and sort of the, the main character. What did you think about all that? Oh, man. It was... Uh, I just asked your question for you. No, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> the, uh, the, I have also um, some connections to uh, having adoption within my family, and it's it was very timely because it was um, something that was not known. And so the timeliness of this film and my personal, and then I'll just be really honest, getting to work with everyone here was... She's looking at me. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Like, she just very couldn't turn far enough to Jonathan. see me. No, no. She was looking at Hal, me. <laughs> Steven, I mean, my goodness. I, for a woman who has grown up in the theater, working in the theater, to have this opportunity to work with these individuals was, yeah, a dream That's come great. true. That's great. So kind of yeah. as an extension of that, you know, you guys have done TV, you've done theater, you've done movies. It's always great to have a, you know, something based on a true story. You actors, how does this compare to some of the other things you've done? Yeah, Marriott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Tell me. It's not as funny as the things I usually do, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, so, yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, go no, ahead, no, that's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have as many lines as you. There's a reason for that. Yeah, <laughs> the way I thought. Yeah. I mean, it was it was a great experience. All of us in Mineral Wells at this ranch, we were very tight knit group, secluded, yeah. and there was a great experience with that. You know, Barry and I got to go fishing down at the river. Like they'd yell cut, and we could go down and, and I go caught fishing. The biggest fish. I still, I think I owe him five bucks. You do? Yeah. He'll never collect. No. <laughs> I, I, you know, I think this is funny because we all saw, most of us saw, um, the movie Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf last night, um, and it's it's a pretty stunning film. And I've done a lot of theater and a lot of film. Uh, I don't think that I, I mean, this character that I play in this, uh, the stepmother, the woman who scooped her up, and you know, when she was. Uh, very, very young. I don't even think a year, right? She was like four, four months or something, four or five months, which is a good time to adopt. It really is. I think you'd say that first. Um, it was, there were a lot of feelings and a lot of feelings that my family would not express unless they had been drinking. I come from Connecticut and, and uh, it's, a, it's a big drinking town. So I got that, and it was, I mean, I was able, hopefully, to get some of that repressed feeling in there. Um, they're a little bit m more honest at times, I think, than my family would have been. Um, but it still worked. I mean, it usually, that usually happened, particularly when I, when I worked with Molly. Um, it, it, was, it was lovely to work with her face, which was very honest, and, and uh, uh, I think we had a very good relationship, except at night when she always wanted to work on scenes, and I was exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm much older than she is. <laughs> Although I started off by saying, let's work, let's work. Yeah, you let's started work. that. I was like, oh, never. So, um, and, and we, we all have that, um, we all have that discipline, I think, certainly to a degree. I mean, it sounds like we were just great and having a fabulous time and all that, but we we really had a discipline of working on the words before we went on, and 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 I know certainly with Molly, it was I never did that with with Barry because he didn't care, but um, <laughs> but Molly, I mean, we really tried to get underneath stuff. You know, he can't hear; he has a very hard time hearing anything what? anyway. So yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> so it was it was useless. <laughs> but Molly and I really kind of did some digging. Uh, the, nice. I, I was going to add to that. I mean, one of the things that was great about the process was, you know, this was we we announced this project oh. at Diff last year without a screenplay. Diff agreed to give us a world premiere. Studio Movie Grill agreed to give us a, a limited national theatrical release before we even had a script. So, you know, the... And, and we agreed to it before, before we even had Yeah, that's, great. that's true. <laughs> you know, so I was like, ah, oh, there'll be a script. Don't worry about it. I'll be good. But, um, you know, when we got um, Chad Berry and David Langlene, they won the screenwriting competition. And then Chad and I and David sat, you know, sat down for four weeks just to try to get it to 
sort of where it needed to be. But what was great is when we got on the set, we just said, look, guys, this is a totally a collaboration. So oh, we would sit down. Should never have said I should have that. never said that. <laughs> Open the right? door. You know, no, I was no, like, should, I should have you just. never said that. Uh, that's right. <laughs> that's, right. <laughs> that's right. I said that internally. I said, I said that. It was oh, my boy, internal monologue. A... It was my subtext, right? Yeah. So. Wait, oh, boy, this is a Col collaboration. Wait, Colton Tapp just showed up. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, do we have a chair? Do we have a chair? Oh, yeah. yeah, there is. So, so apparently there's two magnolias. Uh, <laughs> I love the magnolias as well. You did it too. Yeah, oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. So, uh, you know, so really we really, we had 15 days to shoot a feature film, which yes, is quite, quite background shocking <laughs> right now. The so this is the problem the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, we, we had 15 days, to, you know, to, to, to shoot a very emotionally charged, very dialogue driven film. So it was important that we sort of did whatever we could do. We didn't have a lot of rehearsal time, so we would sit down and they'd tell me how crap the script was, <laughs> and then they would completely rewrite everything, and then we would shoot that version of it. And oh, then that, wait, hold on. What? <laughs> right. Hold on. Yeah. I was told that we were going to have time to rehearse. I know. You should never listen. Never, <laughs> never listen to your agents. Never, never listen to your management. Or your finally, agents. I think it was the last day. I said, "Stop. <laughs> this fa this family is." Alcohol, and we've got to really get down to what the problems are in this family. Okay, it didn't matter. You know, it's, it's all there. But um, rehearsal but of course, helped your performance? Probably not. Well, the thing, about, thing about Barry, he's actually never read the script. He just said whatever he wanted to say, yeah. so I didn't even have to write it. Got a fish! I got a fish! You know, right. Yeah. How's it going? You know, how's, like, like lines like, how's the butcher business, Dr. Scalpel? Like, I was like, we just said this line. I'm like, where did that come from? I have no idea. I made that line up? Yeah, I even kept it. It was good. I think we started really? a lot yeah, of man. seeds with fishing talk. <laughs> yeah. we, were, we, we didn't know what to do. Colton, Barry and I'd say, I, you want to go fishing? You say, <laughs> Colton, tell me, tell me about how wonderful the experience was for you. Oh God, Incredibly don't get wonderful. him started. Incredibly wonderful. <laughs> yeah. The voice hey, your beard was good, reason. man. He's got a beard. Cool. I didn't have to shave it anymore, you know. I I know. That's true. I had to make him. He was playing a 12-year-old, so it was important <laughs> that he looked really young. I know so. what that's like. That is kind of. Funny. Oh, yeah. See, you probably look way younger than you are. <laughs> that's where you wear the beard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so you can I'll pick up women. It is. Yes, it okay, is. Good. You got okay, me. Good. You got me. Nice. So Colton, I'm sorry. Something that was was pretty cool about the experience was we were. As Mariette said, you know, we were able to work, we were digging in, and then about five days, six days into the process, Meg Foster was to arrive. And I was intimidated, I was scared. And by her smoking alone. Right? <laughs> I, I don't know what it was. It was it was it was it was, you know, it's Meg, and you know, we had this thing going I'll, I'll, and I'll do her. Okay. This, <laughs> 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 That's for you, Meg. <laughs> She's yeah. a dear friend. We'll be She's, you. Dear She's a dear. I love that. <laughs> She's but a dear she friend. Is. But I think it was great timing because it we. It was. As, as far as for the storyline, yes, yes, all was. of us as the as the family, and Gee, then having the I wonder how that, mother come in. Wait a second. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, did, did, wait, did somebody schedule that so you guys oh were God. all there on for four or five days by yourself no, to she, bond she as a family? She missed a plane. That's what it was. Okay, yeah. <laughs> she, it's amazing how that works, right? I mean, just you know, these guys are bonding for the first four days, and what actually happens in the story is. She was uh, looking for wardrobe. Yeah, she was. She was it's yeah. Maggie and her husband Aiden actually come in partially through the weekend, so you, you know. You planned this? <laughs> it's it's amazing how that works out, isn't it? <laughs> you know? So they, they still don't even get the, all the like the wheels, the cogs, yeah. the gears that were turning in the background. Yeah. They just thought I was a good looking director that went, Yeah, okay, good, that's good. You know I didn't recognize you on the first day. Really? No. I had no idea who you were. I know, like, who's that guy? I, I mean, you look so know. different. I had, but I had those <laughs> short pants and the bl and the bl uh, an action. Uh, I don't no, know. No, I had you that. So different from I the time when I met you and you were courting all of us. It's true. And I met you at a at a, at a Gordon. At, in a hotel. That's true. Hey, hey. 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 Jerry, lunch the hotel. Hotel. Yeah, off the record. Right? Yeah. Actually, yeah. That's true. I actually met Marriott and then Meg right after. So I had to drink heavily after both of those meetings. I was going to be very clear about. It. Actually, it was, it was awesome. You know, I never met Marriott. I never met Meg. I really didn't want to meet Barry. So I just talked to Barry on the phone, and I, fortunately, Marriott actually called Barry up and said, "You're doing this damn film because there's no way I'm going to survive this thing, you yeah. know, without you." So. So that worked out pretty Which well. Which was actually true. It was. <laughs> yeah. It was. It turned out uh, out. Me either. I probably couldn't have survived it. Well, maybe no, you couldn't. First time have. director. I know. Very so, dangerous. You know, I'm probably the oldest first time director in the history of, of film. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How old do you think I am? Orson Welles was 48. No, no. 20s? 
Oh, Girl, God, he's hate. the best. Huh? Nice. <laughs> yeah, toy boy. Um, no, but the, as you can tell, we I hate each other and, and had a horrible, imagine this, but you know, times 400 with all of the crew also embedded out there living on a ranch in Mineral Wells. Um, these guys living yeah. in a beautiful hotel, the Comfort Suites in Mineral Wells, which okay, was great. Okay, let me tell you about and, it. And, and, and <laughs> yeah. So, but what was great about I also planned all of that. See, if I put them in a really nice hotel, then they wouldn't be like ornery and crotchet. Actually, they probably still would be mm -hmm. ornery and crotchet. Uh, but they'd get there every morning and just, you know, not oh, happy. Do, do and it. Do so it. What? what? What was what were oh, the well, first the, yeah, things? Oh, the, the big, the big. Um, there were uh, two things that two was things. List, were listed on the internet about <laughs> the comfort in. Yeah, which, well, the first one was yeah. inside corridors, and inside I, corridors. I jumped at it. Yes, I know. Jumped. absolutely. And Doesn't get much better than that. Was, was that the, it smelled good, good in the, in the, in the entry hall? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Of course, they uh, saw me every morning with this can of Lysol spray, sort of going around, and right. I used different flavors each day, all fifteen days. Well, and as you can tell, these two were like the old couple of Muppets up in the. Like every <laughs> scene they have a little, <laughs> little <laughs> something to say. <laughs> <laughs> I hated yeah. it. It was horrible. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's hilarious. And that's very funny, except old, but not I'm sure. Really, okay. not really very right. I was clever. talking about them, uh -huh. the Muppets. The Muppets. The Muppets. Yeah, yeah, right. It's it controlled chaos. like a good film family, and it sounds like you guys had a nice collaborative process and good experience. We did. We and, did. And, and continue to. And they're actually going to see the film for the first time in a few hours. That's great. Uh -huh. yeah. So okay. I'm glad you and caught us now. Yeah, yeah, it's probably good. Yeah. We're all getting ready for three more days in August. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. It's actually four days in September is going to be the sequel. Yeah. So there was some talk beforehand about the about the poster that yeah. that came up a little bit. Is this is this the first time some of y'all are seeing it? What do you think of the wow. poster? Is that our poster? It is. Oh, it is. Three days in August. You haven't seen that? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I have seen it. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Uh, you approved? I mean, I I did actually. <laughs> Uh, you can't read I couldn't our afford to put Barry's you face can't, look, on, can the, you read on the our poster. Names on that? No, they're written in white. Our names. They're in white. It's horrific printing. It's horrible um, printing. But the, the this sure, is the cheap sure version. Sure looks exciting. I know, right? Yeah, yeah really. I mean, most what are the eggs? you know, Tell most independent the film posters they put you know everyone's face on it and like you know, you're you're gonna have to do that for a just you know uh, ultimately for a distributor or for a DVD box and stuff. But I mean, we wanted something that was a bit more you know interesting. Boring. Provocative. I, I call it provocative. Uh -huh. yeah. um, so uh, I'm trying to figure out who's the red egg exactly. But yeah. you know, um, but me. It's Meg. the embarrassment on my face. I know it's <laughs> interesting, but you notice they haven't started to stop talking about it since they got here too. So that's really all you want. Not a bad thing. Excellent. It leaves a lot to the imagination. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Exactly. That's funny. Exactly. <laughs> so Colton, why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience, the process, how this differed from other projects? Um, well, first off. The first thing that comes to my mind is working with Jonathan. There's a scene where we've been waiting all day. The crew's out there building this set, and it's taking hours and hours, and it's so hot that the camera shuts down, and it's like, <laughs> oh, let's get this thing over with. Last shot of the day. And I get in there, and I'm like, all right, let's do this. He's like, action. I run in there and do some crazy bold choice that's totally off the wall. <laughs> and he's like, cut. I'm like, come here, Colton. Like, yeah, what's up? I said, what was that? <laughs> um, yeah, so I was just giving it a shot. He's like, yeah, don't ever do that again. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. so that's what it was like every day working with Jonathan. I come back there and I do it the way we talk. Yeah. This, this, I mean, everyone's or trying to act, Barry. right? I didn't hire you guys to act. No, I just no, hired no. you guys to look for you and to show up on set, okay. all right? Not all Jeez. Of us, okay. Not all of oh, us, wind them okay. up and let them go. Not all of us. No, okay. okay. Right. No. I didn't hire you? What? Who? Uh, what? To, to, to act. act. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, you hired us not to act. That's that, right. That's right. It's true. Yeah. Be anyway, influential. Uh, but he would say to Barry after a take, say, Oh, uh, that did, go ahead. You do it. Well, but, well, that wasn't crap. No, Moving that on. didn't suck. Oh, that didn't suck. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that one didn't or the suck. other. Yeah. Look, it's an independent film. I had 15 days, very low budget. I can only afford so much, right? So, yeah. I mean, that didn't suck. I thought it was probably all I could afford. Yeah. 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 Sometimes and that's the best you can ask for. That's all we very had. Very Orwellian. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was. And I knew, look, we could fix everything in post, right? Like, I've actually done full face replacements on everybody. Yeah. So it's worked out really well. Yeah. 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 ADR, all the, all the work. Did you, did you like Colton's performance, ultimately? Uh, he's actually not in the film anymore. Oh, that's he's what completely I thought. cut. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean it was it was actually hey, nice. The room now. It was actually nice to have someone that didn't have plantar fasciitis, you know, on the set. So it was great. I have It's an inside joke. Uh, no, I know it's an inside. You know, it was nice to have. <laughs> it's like thank <laughs> God. Being young. You know. Yeah, it's, you know, no. just 
Uh, was that my outside voice or my inside voice? <laughs> 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 yeah, no, it was great. I mean, uh, Colton now is, of course, I'm surprised he's even here because he's a big star. He's got all these films he's doing right now. So I just, I'm appreciative that he's here, even though I don't really like the beard on him. But I mean, other than that, everything's great. I mean, it was, it was I think it's sexy. And you know, work, uh, working, uh, working with Molly, you know, uh, Molly's character, Shannon, is the is really the linchpin of the of the entire film, and and so it's always in some ways the hardest role to cast. And I remember when Molly came came in, and I, I auditioned in L.A. and we read some people in New York, and Molly lives here, and uh, that was I that was really the in my mind the hardest role to cast. So you know, I was. I was lucky that Molly came in and absolutely crushed it. And I was like, okay, I'm crying. I shouldn't show her I'm crying right now in the audition. So, okay, fine. So uh, that was great. And then Colton's a local as well, uh, which is which is great. And um, so it was, it was a really great combination. If you look at these three together, they actually could be family, right? So yeah. it's, it's uh, I see that. My boys. That's right. That's so great. not much uh, you know, plastic <laughs> surgery had to be done to make all that you work. You know, it's yeah. kind of funny when the first couple of days on set, I don't know, I'm sure you remember this, but I... I knew what a great opportunity and like what what a what what a great experience this was as it was happening. And I was talking to Colton and I was like, you know, and I was talking to him like he was sixteen. <laughs> and I was like, you need to soak up. this That's up. It. You need to soak this up. You need to and like he let it go for a couple of days and then all of a sudden he would drop things like, you know, in my business and I was like, Business? You can't have a business, you're sixteen. <laughs> Finally he was like I'm 28, and I was like, "Oh my goodness!" <laughs> this whole time I've been talking She's to joking, you. She's joking. I'm 21. 21. <laughs> 21. 21. Yeah. Sorry. We'll cut that out. All right. Uh, yeah. Cut that out. Cut that out. Sorry. Forgot. He owns uh, Darfur. Right? Yes, that's yeah. right. <laughs> that is so, right. So yeah, I thought that was pretty uh, uh, funny. But I think you also you chose you. them because they were local hires. Well, yeah, I, I, I didn't actually have to pay them, which was, which exactly, was great. Yeah, um, right. I was they like, were the best that was local. <laughs> I was like, I could either have craft services or I could have actors. So I kinda, right. I kinda, you got her for free, too. So I did. Actually, I flew my Aunt Lolo in uh, from, from Phoenix, who's a chef, because I couldn't really afford anybody. That's great. So she came out, and she fed everybody for 15 days. It was like, hey. She was like her den mother. She, she was. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I could do a Mickey or anything. Hey, I, I got a barn. I got a, I got a fiddle. Let's put on a show, right? But most right. people watching that won't, won't get that, right? Get what? Get the Mickey Rooney thing, probably not. Who? Uh, okay. and it, so uh, yeah, but it does bring up all of the lucky coincidences that oh, happen. That's true. Who we are have these the, people? I, have no <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> I think they were in a As different you can movie. See, Irish see. dancers. <laughs> well, that was to an Irish <laughs> in an Irish band yeah. in the middle. The location. Of, yeah, yeah, the location. All of these things. Yeah. All the pieces fell together in such a strange way that I can't. Where the toilets to went it. out. You remember yeah, that? That, that was, was great not too. A good thing. Uh -huh. Again, it builds character. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. My so, character is already built. built. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty. Two years. So you, you you talk about the the studio movie release. What a studio yeah. movie girl release. Yeah. Um, what are your aspirations for the film? What do you guys hope? You know, where's it where's it gonna go? What's your million goal? five first day, and then it go, just goes from there in one theater. That's my plan. Yeah. 105. What was? It? Uh, you just hope you work again. Right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I just I just Basically. I just hope. Uh, the right people see this film that actually will hire me again, and then the wrong people, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, no, I, I, I mean, the film is, um, the film just got to live on its own. I mean, that's what you, you make film, the old people like them, uh, and then you move on, but. It, I think one of the big things about this film is that it did use local hire. Yeah. It was not great all the time because there was a lot of confusion. Um, and I think that I knew all the way through it that if this didn't get edited brilliantly, yeah. uh, it's just going to be all over the place because we were partially writing it, they were partially writing it. I wasn't sure whether the script, young, young script boy had really gotten everything because they were chasing all of us all over the place. It was, it was really, really interesting. And. Um, <laughs> What's Marriott's trying to say <laughs> is that it all came together that you really got a well. Terrific editor. Well, yeah, and I mean that's part of the people that came in and did things because they loved the film, they loved the idea of being a part of the film. The man who is doing this will have no meaning, I guess, to anybody who's watching it here. But the color corrector, the people that really worked on the color, which is vitally important, were the same people that did Mad Max. Oh wow. For very little money, and they, you know, I didn't pay them at all. Yeah. yeah. So, 
it became a labor of love. And I, and I think that's, that's, for me, anyway, and I've done three independent films over the last two and a half years, three years. My first time, I've always worked with major studios, you know, that kind of organization and that kind of, um, so this is very, very different for me. And it was, it's really, really interesting to, to see. One of, one of my films is now being, it was just bought and it's gonna be distributed. And my prayer is that this one will too. Well, I mean, it's, it, you know, you bring up a good point is that independent filmmaking, even at its best, uh, is extremely difficult. I mean, you're, first of all, trying to shoot a film for $200,000, you're trying to shoot a film in 15 days, you know, all of these things that you just have to beg, borrow, and steal, and it is in some ways like, you know, herding cats, right? It, it you, really is. You, you have to just kind of have controlled chaos and be prepared, and we were, we were properly, you know, we, we knew that this was going to, we're going to get in there and throw everybody into the situation and see what you get, and, and there's, you know, there's the, the, there's the film on the script, there's the film that you put on set and that you shoot, and then there's the film that you edit. Um, mm -hmm. And ultimately, if you don't put all of those things, at least the pieces of the puzzle together, um, then you're not going to get it. And then, you know, as, as Marriott so rightly said, I mean, we have two great editors, um, Cy and, and Logan, um, who are extremely experienced. Um, and you had a wonderful DP. A great, I mean, Bangani Malambo, mm -hmm. who's, we this is. We all had a hard time pronouncing his yeah, name, but it was so great. My daughter calls him Bon Bon, mm -hmm. so that's probably what we're going to all call him now. But, you know, a great production designer. Just to, I mean, ultimately, you just have to, you know, people say, what's your job as a director? Well, my job as a director is to set the tone and let, trust people that they're going to do the job that they need to do to, to get to where we want to go. And, and then to talk and, and talk, then talk and talk and talk. And talk, and talk, and talk. And talk. Okay. Um, so that's, that's exactly what's happened. You know, you mentioned the, the guys from Alter Ego in Toronto um, who colored this film. And people will look at this film and go, how much was the budget on this film? Because it, it looks better than, you know, most $10 million films do, that's just great. because you've got those incredible professionals who said, we want to support what you're doing. We want to support independent film. How do we do it? Talk about how, oh, sorry, one minute? Yes. One minute, one minute. On, on this thing? On Are this you going to change it? Or he's, gonna, it? he's got his card, running out of card space. That's oh, I see. Is. OK. Yeah. Well, who got this $200,000? That's what I want to know. Mm. You know, well, where, where I made did that money. I made one ninety eight, <laughs> and everybody else sort of like. I, that's what I would it. suspect. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but I'm expensive, Barry. You, you know? are. Yeah. yeah, you should what, be. You're very good. Well, I, don't, I guess we don't have enough time. Right? We always have time. It, it, to me, and I just learned this yesterday because I didn't have a lot of time to learn anything. <laughs> my lines <laughs> uh, on, on the film, but that this this whole this whole idea. Um, is, is just absolutely brilliant. And it started in your brain as a contest, um, as a way of getting interest in film here in Dallas and, you know. Well, we just finished shooting Occupy Texas and we shot it in this beautiful house owned by a woman named Shannon Kincaid. And as crazy as she is, after we shot a feature film in her you know, backyard basically for two <laughs> weeks, she, said, she came up to me and she said, I have this really amazing idea for a film based on, you know, inspired by her life as an artist and as an adopted person. And I said, that's great. We all love making indie films with low budgets. We're not really. But, uh, yeah. but if we're going to do this, we have to do this the right way. We have to do it. And nobody wants to invest right. in independent films. So we, we put together this international screenwriting competition when 200 you know, um, entries from 26 countries around the world. We pared it down to five, finally got one. And then during that time, I built this relationship with Dallas International Film Festival, which guaranteed us the Dallas. premiere. Film, say it. Dallas Film Society and the Dallas International Film Festival. Thank you. And then I know I called up Studio Movie Grill, my friends there, who it's based here in Dallas, and I said, look, you guys always want to support independent film. Give us a limited national theatrical release right up front. This was without a script. Can they were like, yes. I mean, so story. then, that's the story. Yeah. So, so then, <laughs> you know, we went out to some of my other friends, guys named Jeff Berlin, who's a Sony artisan, and we said, you know, and Sony came in and said, would you be willing to shoot a camera that has never shot a feature film for a theatrical release? And we're like, no, Shh, no. no. So they gave us all the cameras. They called up Leica. I mean, Leica shipped these lenses to us that Leica are worth lenses. Than, the more, than, than more than our entire budget yeah. of the film. They came in, light panels came in, local companies like wood, you know, a wood, wooden camera came in. You know, and then that all has really snowballed into Lucky Post and these editors coming in. I met the guys from Alter Ego, um, you know, from Toronto. We actually, I met, actually met the guy in a swimming pool in Mexico, and we found out we like grew yeah, up near each other. Yeah, we heard about that one. Yeah. That so you know, yeah. I know what happens in Mexico generally yeah, stays in Mexico, right. <laughs> but uh, and he's here uh, for the festival. So everyone just jumped on board and said, "We want to be a part of this. 
let's go, let's go make a film. And I think that is, that's why the film looks bigger than it is. That's why the story is bigger than just making an independent film, because we do have a theatrical but release. see, this is the, to me, this is the advantage of being in a place like Dallas. Oh, I don't think that could really happen in Los Angeles, do you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's, there's a jadedness there. There's a feeling of, I certainly, I have it. Uh, you know. Used. They've been used. We've been used. Just I like mean, you, yes. Yeah. Well, no, used. but they, st they, they, people don't want to work with people my age. You know, they don't. Understand. I do. Well, maybe never again, but I did right, at least right. once. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> right. Absolutely. I will do who's uh, afraid of Virginia Woolf again. What do you think? Can I, think I ask so. you a question? Who, him or me? No, you. All right. What did you give to this? What did you put out into the universe? As, that, as a one-liner of what you wanted 200 people to come back and write a free script for you. <laughs> what, was, what, was the, what was the idea? What was, no, give me the one-liner that you said. It, give me a, he's a cheap Jew. That's that's what right. Right. <laughs> okay. I'm married to one. I know that. Right. Come on, I know. I just think it's Can we fabulous. please warm <laughs> the uh, swimming, pool, swimming pool today so that I can get some exercise? No, Sorry, we no, can't. Didn't. No, didn't. No, I mean, it, it, it really was. I understand that everyone wants, I mean, every writer wants to have their movie produced, right? right? You can write all the scripts in the world and all the treatments in the world, but most of them are never going to get done. But if you say, we're guaranteeing you, we're going to yeah. produce your script, we're guaranteeing you, you have a world premiere, and we're guaranteeing you're getting a theatrical release. Oh, I uh, mean, a big gazint. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll wait until I, I'll, I'll uh, yeah. Uh, right. So I mean, that, that really was the opportunity that, that, that people wanted. What did you wanted. give them to start with though? Did you, you must have sent them We did. So Shannon Kincaid start. and I, we sat down and we created 10 thematic elements that we wanted all of them to write to. And those were, you know, adoption. It's a Texas story. Um, you know, art, artist and painting. Basically broad themes uh -huh. that we wanted all of these to be a part of. And that's what we all started with. And we actually got some really interesting, we actually got some science fiction ones, some thrillers. Oh, you can use those later on. Uh, actually, that'll be four for days, free. four days in September oh, will, be, will be one of those. <laughs> yeah, so um, that's, that was, that's what we put out there, man. But you're cool. right, in general. You know, I've had the opportunity to produce two feature films in the last two years myself. And the appetite for um, support is huge here. Yeah. And one one film we and they have money. There's yes. money here. There's and money they, and, and there's they, interest. And they like to risk. I, I yes. think that in yeah. L. A. It's like yeah. But yeah. you also want to give them something that's you know they can they can hook on to. You know, oh man, we're making a little film. I mean, great. No, no, no. Let's write this a check. Is, you yeah. know, so it's like yeah. I mean, yeah. it is. You want to well, give lunch them an opportunity. With me. Lunch with Marietta, yeah, which I did sell actually for two hundred thousand oh, dollars. That's yeah. I forgot to tell you that's next week. I don't can I be in much it? It's what? Clothing yeah. optional. Um, <laughs> <laughs> in a pool in Mexico. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. But how Dude. many films have we all done? Independent films that never see the light of day. Oh, totally. And to know going into this that somebody's going to see it. That's that means something. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well. Guys, so, best of luck at the festival. Thank and you. I hope the, the film gets seen by as many people as possible. Thank, thank you. Thanks very much. Thank, thank you. For, uh, thank you so much today. for having me. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. Did, thanks. You just, did you just have us? How were we? Were we good? <laughs> You're great. Yeah. Did you, do you have anything great. you can use? Cut. Oh, yeah. And yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. All right, that's enough. Cut. That didn't suck. Cut.